Hey there, Mr. Johnson. It is Wednesday, October 17th, and I also have a cold. But we have three things to discuss in this video, and the first thing to discuss is one-take vlogs. I'm really starting to enjoy one-take vlogs because it seems a lot more personal than if you and I were to put a lot of editing into it because, after all, this conversation is about you and me and not really about the viewers. Viewers are great. I love you guys. But we started this because it's a conversation between you and me and I think that editing detracts from that conversation. Which leads us to part two. I think punishments also detract from the conversation because pretty much when there's a punishment video, the conversation that we've been having has to completely stop because we, we can't respond to... You can't respond to yourself, and when I respond to you, it'll be four days too late, and if not longer than that, just because of the way that we have the video system set up. But I do agree with some of the viewers and that there has to be some kind of punishment, so what I'm thinking is that instead of doing a punishment video, just do a swift punch in the shoulder for all of the videos that we've missed over the past year when we see each other after Thanksgiving slash on my birthday, because I feel like that's still a valid punishment and it would not detract from the conversation. And part three, which is the actual content of the video, that is discussing the fall season slash figuring out what I want to do with the, for the rest of my life. Over this weekend, I went to Vanderbilt, Tennessee, and me and my friend had an eye-opening experience over food, which I might flash a picture right here. I probably will, especially now that I'm framing it. I mean, I, I kind of have to at this point, but that was literally the best Eggs Benedict I have ever had. And my friend and I, after conversing, decided that after college, what we really want to do is explore the world because, I mean, I want to open my eyes to the world and understand how other countries work and be able to see other countries and be able to meet a bajillion other people. And the vehicle by which we're going to do that is probably bartending because bartending, you get to meet new people every night, you get to give them alcohol which makes them happy, and you get to find out about their life experiences, which just seems really interesting to me. Wait, I forgot to tie this back into fall. Okay, fall because it was fall in Nashville, which is not fall in Florida. I mean, it kind of is in that I'm allowed to wear long pants because I can never wear long pants in Florida, which is a great thing about fall, is that long pants and a t-shirt instead of shorts and a t-shirt. Thanks, Florida fall. And in Nashville, we got to wear long pants and a sweatshirt, which brings me back to Nashville and how I figured out what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. There you go. There's my train of thought. It's a very difficult train of thought to follow, as it often is. Sometimes there's like five degrees of separation, and I expect people to pick up on it. So for at least two years out of college, I'm going to be a bartender in other countries with my friend, and we're going to be roommates or something. We haven't really thought this plan out that much, but I mean, it's going to happen because... After, you know, how many years? 12, 18, some odd number of years of education, it's nice to be able to take a two year break. Now, I feel kind of hypocritical for making this not a one take vlog, but I'm very bad at talking and I had to talk about a lot in this video, so I may have to splice a little bit, but I think there were only like four cuts, which is pretty impressive for me considering that there are usually approximately a thousand. And with that, Steve, I will see you. Friday.